everybody. Uh, throwing up a video here today. It's a, I mentioned I picked up uh, Resident Evil 4 for the uh, Wii, the Wii edition. <clears throat> I decided to, you know, throw up a video. I'm almost done with it. I'm up to the part where you fight Krauser like right before. It. But it's been far enough for me to, you know, go back and realize I mean, this game is still just fucking awesome. Like, talk about a game that holds up. This game holds up completely. At first, the Wii uh, the Wii Remote and, you know, the Nunchuck, it's a little bit tough to use with the aim. you got to be pretty precise, and sometimes if, you know, the Wii Remote loses the uh, connection with the the sensor, sometimes you just move it a little bit to the wrong side or something, and it goes off that zone where the, you know, sensor bar is, it'll be a little bit of a pain, but, you know, you get used to it, and it's it's really good. Actually, the controls are pretty good. When you really get that down, you really can aim and, and nail them pretty good. <clears throat> But I wanted to compare, I don't have a copy of Resident Evil 5 anymore, but I wanted to compare 4 to 5, because I love 5. I mean, I've probably said that in pre previous videos. i played it through like three times, like twice on PS3 and once on the 360. But uh, this is the one that, you know, kind of, you know, started that when they changed it up over the shoulder uh, view and, and whatnot to make things easier, because, you know, in the older ones, you would be sitting in a room and... You wouldn't even see what was coming at you, and then you'd shoot at him, and they would give you a view of just you shooting, and then you still wouldn't see the zombie, and then it would eventually stumble on the screen, but... A four against five, you know, and I love, like I said, I love five. Really, it's probably one of my favorite games of the PS3, uh, uh, Xbox generation, I guess, the Xbox 360 generation, throw a Wii in there as well. It was, uh... This one, th this one is, like, far superior, and that's, that's a crazy thing to say. I mean, this is a... Incredible game. Everybody knows it when it came out. It was critically acclaimed. People bought it. Everybody loved the users, critics alike. <clears throat> but uh, and, and you know, five came out, and five's awesome too. But it, this just it shows how good this game is, at least in my opinion. You know, the thing that this game has over five that really, for me, makes it so much better is well, maybe not so much better, but better for sure is the atmosphere is still here in this one. You know, I never found the Resident Evil games that creepy. But they always had good atmosphere. <clears throat> Five was just straight up, like, always bright open areas you were in most of the time, you know. It was it was cool environments, but there wasn't the creepiness factor. The, the creepy atmosphere wasn't there. This one has it. I mean, you're in the castle for a good part. You're in the villages. You know, you go into a cave at one point. You know, it, it, it really, you know, it's like the clouds. Just, it's cloudy out and stuff. There's no really bright sun or anything. <clears throat> you know, and you, you still get that kind of mansion-esque vibe from, you know, 1 and 0. Because <clears throat> when you're in the castle, you get that feel. And some of the, even the little houses you go into, small parts of the villages, still has that vibe. You didn't have that at all in 5, in my opinion. It just wasn't there. You know, great game. The combat's equal in both. Obviously, the same combat. <clears throat> you know, and this one, you have to, you know, Ashley, you get Ashley, like, halfway through the game, maybe a little before, and you got to, you know, escort her around. It's not that big of a pain in the ass. <clears throat> You know, you could just tell her to wait or follow. And there's one part where you use it, which is a pretty cool part, too. You can just chuck uh, lanterns at the enemies. But, you know, it's cool. It still has the creepy vibe there. You're, like, walking around with your flashlight and stuff. It's cool. The fifth one has uh, Shiva, or Sheva. She's obviously not Ashley. You know, she's the, Ashley's like the president's daughter. Sheva's like, you know, or Sheva's like, a, um, like Chris Redfield. She's a member of that group. I can't remember what the group was. Or maybe she isn't. I don't know. But she's trained. She knows what she's doing. <clears throat> So she's like a, you know, badass like Chris Redfield is. So, that, you know, it's just different dynamic. And I always liked that gameplay in that one. I never had a problem. You know, I played a co-op on the 360, so that was fine. But even on the PS3, when I played by myself, she was never a problem for me. Like, a lot of people complain that she f would, like, pick stuff up and not do things and whatever. I never had a problem with that at all. <clears throat> but uh, still, like, overall, 4 is just a better game. You know, it, it, it just is. And, and it's because of the environment, really, because everything else is the same. Obviously, the graphics look better on 5 because it came out, you know, on the, on the 360 and the PS3, not the uh, GameCube, Wii, and PS2. <coughs> but it's like, for when this came out on those systems, it, it looked incredible, you know. It looked phenomenal at the time. <coughs> It still actually holds up pretty good. This game actually looks still looks really good. I mean, it's ten years later. This is the same. This one came out in 07, but it's the same game, except it has the, you know, the Wii controls, <clears throat> the Wii remote controls. But uh, it, it, it's just a better game. It's just, I don't know, it, it, it's all about that creepy factor, and it has it. The atmosphere is creepy. The game necessarily isn't creepy. I'm not, like, dreading playing it, but 
the atmosphere is nice and creepy. It has a good atmosphere to it, which five was missing. But like I said, combat's the same. Voice acting's on the same level, which is okay. It's not incredible. Some parts, some people are good. Some aren't as good. <clears throat> like I said, graphically, I mean, if you had to compare them to when they came out, they're both on the same level. They both look great for the hardware they're on. <clears throat> This one was just cool, you know, it introduced the, uh, I can't even remember what the name is, like, Granados, is that what they call them? I can't remember. Like, I played this game, like, two days ago, and I have to not pay attention. <sighs> that was just, if you heard that, that was my Simpsons tapped out, telling, wanting me to, or somebody just finished a, a thing. <clears throat> finished a task. But yeah, this is, a, it's a cool game. It's a really cool game. I haven't put up a gameplay of it yet, I just am lazy, I guess. <clears throat> But if you have to compare four to five, I gotta go with four. I really do. Five's right there too, obviously a great game, but four really this is probably the best in the Resident Evil series. <clears throat> Actually it definitely is. I mean it's hard to compare like those first like five or whatever it was, you know, zero, Resident Evil, Resident Evil Two, Three, Code Veronica. <clears throat> it's hard to, you know, compare those to these because they change the controls and everything. It's almost like two, you know, two separate, you know, groups of games. Six, you can move and shoot, but six had its problems. I didn't hate six, but it, there was parts that annoyed the shit out of me. <laughs> it's really frustrating. It's too bad too, but it's not a terrible game. Definitely not on par with four or five. <clears throat> but yeah, man, I just wanted to you know compare the two on here, throw up a video, and you know, just really give my appreciation for this game. It's incredible, <clears throat> and five as well. This one's just a bit better. But yeah, and uh, real quickly, uh, well, might as well do it while. <laughs> got the video. Got a couple 360 pickups. Uh, I got these from eBay. <clears throat> First one's Devil May Cry HD Collection. The only Devil May Cry I played of these three, it's got three, two in the first one, was Devil May Cry. I've only actually played through four and this one, and I played through the DMC Devil May Cry, the other one where uh, Dante's like, you know, he's, the, he's the same character, but he looks completely different. People lost their shit. <clears throat> I like them all, honestly. <clears throat> the ones I've played, I haven't played two or three yet on this, I just popped in the first one and played that one, but I like, not uh, whatever, I, I like them all. <clears throat> I don't have enough invested in this franchise to give a shit if they change things. Even franchises I do have a lot invested in, I don't, you know, like Silent Hill I love, and I didn't like Homecoming that much, but I didn't care too much. Downpour is pretty decent, though. <clears throat> and now the other one is uh, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. This is like 550 new. On eBay, and uh, I play the the prologue of it or the uh, tutorial, and it's uh, it's awesome. It's so it's it's made by Platinum <clears throat> with Konami or whatever, and uh, it, it's typical Platinum, just freaking wild, over the top, crazy stuff. You're like first the first little tutorial mission, you're fighting a Metal Gear Ray, and uh, you're freaking jumping up missiles onto him, sliding down buildings, and. <laughs> getting the shit kicked out of you because it's like the tutorial to see how you get your metal arm, your new arm and everything, you get your ass kicked by this dude. <clears throat> but yeah, it's uh, it's, it's really good. It's fine to tell you go like this mode where you just focus mode where you just chop the shit out of stuff, you destroy cars, everything. It's, it's really good, it looks good. I heard it's short, but whatever, I don't give a shit. For 550, it could be freaking 20 minutes long and I'd get my money's worth. <clears throat> But yeah, it's really cool. You know, I, put, I may put gameplay of this up. I've been saying that for a bunch of games. <clears throat> Whoops, it fell. But yeah, those are some pickups. Uh, did I pick up anything else? No, I picked up a rookie card. <laughs> Rob Nelson rookie card for NHL. <clears throat> and uh, I don't think I picked up anything else, actually. <clears throat> My birthday's coming up next week. I have a feeling what I'm getting, so I'm getting excited about that. It's game-related, but... Yeah, some pickups and some Resident Evil 4 or 5 comparisons, and I just wanted to throw that up real quick. And Thanks everybody for checking it out, and have a good day.